levodopa remain the best drug we have in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. Uh, but of course, uh, patients uh, treated with levodopa, they do develop motor fluctuations and dyskinesia. Some patients, uh, they can be very distressful uh, and uh, uh, they are a key factor in, uh, in uh, decreasing quality of life in patients with Parkinson's disease. So in the, in, in the last few years we found out that one of the reasons why fluctuation is appear is the way we administer levodopa in a pulsatile way. So if we, we, if we are able to uh, deliver levodopa in a more continuous way, uh, this could improve motor fluctuation and may prevent motor fluctuation if we would start, could start uh, giving levodopa more continuously. Uh, so, at the moment, uh, um, there is one compound, a slow release preparation of levodopa, which has been tested in Parkinson's disease and it is under revision at the EMA in, uh, in Europe. Uh, but also, uh, we tested a different way to deliver levodopa. Uh, one approach is to give levodopa continuously under the skin, so subcutaneous continuous infusion, and there are two compounds. Uh, that finished uh, or they are going to finish the phase three and uh, this, these two compounds uh, seems to be uh, efficacious and they do improve motor fluctuations in dyskinesia. Uh, another approach is a new um, compound which is levodopa, carbidopa and entacapon for continuous intraduodenal delivery. And another very interesting new approach is to deliver continuous levodopa directly in the mouth so using a, a micro pump sticked on the, on the teeth that actually can release levodopa continuously during the day. So those are the um, latest uh, approach to uh, better deliver levodopa.